So we are going to Spa Castle here in Dallas, or Carrollton, Texas to be specific, for a spa day. So this place looks huge from the outside. It'll be interesting to see how it looks inside. See y'all. So general admission into Spa Castle is $60 on weekends and holidays and $50 Monday through Thursday for adults. General admission includes access to all saunas, pools, lounge areas all day long, but it does, it does not include any treatments that you can purchase um, like massages, facials, or in the nail salon, as well as it does not include any drinks, alcohol you may buy, or food. With general admission, you will get a locker and a uniform. I'm really not a fan of the uniform. Women wear pink, men wear blue, and you get two small towels. So you can bring your own towel. I would recommend wearing a swimsuit underneath so you can get into the pools and the jacuzzis. It's a shoeless facility so you can wear socks or your bare feet. So this spa has three levels. This is the first level that you walk into from the locker room. So this level has all of the indoor and outdoor pools, jacuzzis, there's a cave outside as well, which we'll go into later. And inside here, there's a full service bar and where you can buy drinks as well as food. Food include like tacos, burgers, fries, wings, among other things. So this is the second level. You can take the stairs up or an elevator and you will be met with the sushi bar as well as a smoothie bar. On this level, they have a bunch of lounge areas, a quiet area, all of the saunas. This is where you'll get the, the salons, the massage area, facials, as well as there's an outside deck where you can overlook and kind of just sit, relax and chill. So sit back, relax, and chill with us as we explore and enjoy all of the facilities, including inside some of the saunas, all of the pools, and get a massage after we have a nice meal. Bye. Is that way? The middle part. Might as well buy something to
than the color one. see sweats so we just left 156 now going into the cold room which is 59 degrees Yeah, it feels like AC. <laughs> it looks nice though. I don't really have any need to stay in here. I don't know. My skin looks good though. Upstairs is just a restaurant and more seating where you can eat your food at. So I've been to this spot on two different occasions. Both were Fridays um, in the morning, afternoon-ish. And I will have to say that both occasions that there was so much space everywhere, it was never crowded. So I'm going to have to believe it's kind of how the place is. You will never feel like, you know, people are just all over you. You'll have space to kind of do whatever you want to do um, to kind of really relax. There's another spa here in Dallas that people compare it to called King Spa. I've actually gone to King Spa and honestly, I just stopped recording because it looked quite old, a little bit dirty, dingy. The pool wasn't working the day I went. The bar was closed. So honestly, to me, there's no comparison. If you're talking about large Korean style spas, this one is definitely much better than King Spa in my opinion.
also a good one for last night. So let me know in the comments below what do you think about this spa would you come here it actually has a connected hotel inside so maybe the next one I come here i'll try and stay there and give it a review anyways thank you for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe as always see y'all